Hi Scorpio, this is your August 8th through August 14th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. So I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. Um, we have the Five of Cups clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Tower. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Four of Wands with the Queen of Cups and uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, or a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, or any Zodiac Sign. This is a general reading. Not only is it a general reading, it's a very interesting reading, if you ask me. So you got this King of Wands, right? On all the way to your left. It could be a Fire Sign, or a Sagittarius. Some of you already know this person. But others you, others of you, you do not know them, but they know you. <laughs> or perhaps this is somebody in your life and you never really thought of them as somebody um, you would ever find yourself in a relationship with. So this king of wands, they either missed an opportunity with you, and this is somebody you already know, or it could have been a secret admirer, but they keep getting cold feet. They're getting ready to talk to you. And then at the last moment they get the cold fit and they back off. Something like that. One of those <laughs> scenarios. I know it's weird, but that's how I feel about this King of Wands. Anyway, the King of Wands could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, if they're not a fire sign, this is somebody who is fiery and passionate. They could be a leader. They could be a, somebody with an initiative. But with you, it's different. That You make them shy, right? You, yeah. You get the idea, because I guess when, sometimes when we fall in love with somebody, we become completely different people. Our confidence flies out the window. Uh, for others of us, our belief system becomes nothing, you know. We're not the same, we're in love, basically, right? Anyway, the Five of Cups uh, that the King of Wands is clarifying is a card of, uh, that has to do with the past. This card is a card of grieving the past, thinking about the past, regretting the past. So, like I said, this person either had a chance with you, but they messed up, and you're aware of it. For others of you, it's your secret admirer, but they just, they became very shy around you. They just can't get their crap together and finally make a move. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. The tower, the next card, over. So, this week, you will finally be hearing from them. And uh, when they do come towards you, it's just going to be shocking. Shocking. Because the tower, the next card over, I think in this particular spread, this is you being shocked. Um, you know, this person is just going to unload it on you in a good way. Everything they, if they missed an opportunity with you and you know about it, they'll just tell you why it happened or what's been going on inside their head, what's been going on in their life. Um, or if this is somebody who's been... Uh, your secret admirer, they will still, they'll tell you about all those things, about all those times when they almost reached out to you and backed off at the last moment. And uh, another shocking thing about this is the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So they will immediately talk, to, start talking to you about commitment. Like immediately. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. The Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is one of the commitment and marriage cards. And the first card in the potential outcome, the Four of Wands, is also a commitment and marriage card. So yeah, this person is just going to overwhelm you a little bit, shock you. They're going to rock your world. But um, when you come back to your senses, <laughs> Scorpio, I think you're going to be okay. I, I do see the two of you moving forward. Yep. Yeah. The star on the bottom of the deck. Uh, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. The star is also a card of a wish come true card. This is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And yeah, the first card in the potential outcome is the 401. Some people call it the 1111 card. But uh, to me personally, it always reminds me of an actual wedding. Because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure with the leaves and branches on top of it. 
And the structure pictured in the 401s always reminds me of that, but ultimately it's one of the commitment and marriage cards, right? There you are, the Queen of Cups in the middle of that potential outcome, and the, the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, yeah, this is the two of you taking it to the next level at some point in the future. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, but in this case this is the start of a new cycle on the next level up. It's a very fortunate card. It's always good news in my spread. So yeah, Scorpio, <laughs> hold on to something. You're ready. This person is coming in, and uh, perhaps nobody ever told you things like that before. Yeah. All right. So I'm not gonna do an extended face, Scorpio, because with cards like this, it would be a waste of time. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Scorpio, if you're already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Wands, uh, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, we have Death on the bottom of the deck. Death, that is your personal card, Scorpio, that's you. I believe this spread has to do with finances in some shape or form. For, for some of you, perhaps you've been saving up for a down payment on a house, on a car, or some other major purchase. For others of you, perhaps one of you is unemployed and that's been taken a, to a toll on you, right? For others of you, something else is going on with finance, some kind of a difficulty, right? The Ten of Wands, the first card I came out, this is a card of uh, difficulty, right? This is a card of something tough, something that's taken toll on you, it's a card of responsibilities. And uh, I, like I said, I think it has to do with finances because we've got so many pentacle cards. The Page of Pentacles, the Seven, and the Ace of Pentacles, right? The Ten of Cups in the middle is a card of a commitment and marriage. I don't think your commitment and marriage is in jeopardy. No, you're good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, those three pentacle cards are talking about money. So if you are unemployed or your significant other is unemployed, there is a, a job offer coming in. For some of you, like I said, perhaps you've been saving up for a down payment. And that's why you've been kind of like saving, not spoiling yourself, not spending money on extra things. And perhaps this week you'll realize that you're at the level when you can finally, you know, make a purchase. You have a down payment. Or do the Page of Pentacles, it's a job coming in, it could, whatever. You know, what I'm trying to say is, whatever it's been a difficult thing for you, it's about to go away. Right, the Page of Pentacles, it could be you placing the down payment, or if you got a new job, it could even come with like a sign up bonus, or perhaps this is the first paycheck um, if you already got the job. And the Ace of Pentacles is, is good, you know, this is like the next step up after the Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles in the middle of those Page and Ace of Pentacles is you waiting for the Ace of Pentacles after the Page of Pentacles is made. Some of you, you could be getting paid, it could be like a structured payment, a, a, a settlement of some sort, right? And uh, like I said, the Page of Pentacles would be a first payment towards you and then at some, and they will pay you over time. Something like that. I hope that makes sense. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Scorpio. This week, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Sun, we have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, we also have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Cups, and the, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn. Yeah, most likely an Earth sign is going to resurface in your life. Um, the King of Pentacles, that's the person. And since they're clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, chances are they are an Earth sign. <laughs> right? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The Sun to the left from the King of Pentacles, it's actually one of the happiest, uh, if not the happiest card in the deck. Right? It's also a card of clarity. So this King of Pentacles is finally getting crystal clear that they made a huge mistake and they need to fix it and uh, re-establish this connection with you. And to be fair, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is, out of all four knights, is the most stable, the most grounded, the most serious knight, right? Um, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, that's a card of somebody coming back from the past, and then with the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Cups, uh, the Queen of Cups, that would be you, Scorpio, you're gonna, you're gonna need a little time to think about it. Yep, the Six of Pentacles, in this case, I think this is you weighing all pros and cons. For some of you, you could be talking to another person at the same time, right? Not necessarily an ex. And you'll be like, hmm, <laughs> what do I want to do next? 
But either way, I think you're in a very strong position. Whatever you decide to do, that's how exactly it's gonna go, Scorpio. But again, I think this King of Pentacles is really serious. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this week. We have uh, the Three of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Swords, and uh, we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This week, you are either looking for a new job, or you're doing research, work, business, finances related research. Perhaps some of you will think that you need to improve your skill set so you could make more money, right? Or perhaps you'll realize that uh, you just need to take some classes or you just, you're just you working on a project at work and you're doing a lot of research, right? Others of you, like I said, you're looking for a job. Not necessarily because you got fired, <laughs> perhaps you think it's time. For you to move forward, perhaps you already accomplished everything you could have accomplished at this particular job, at this particular position, and that's why you're looking for a job. That's what this whole spread is about. The two most important cards are the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Swords, right next to the deck. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances, and the Page of Swords. This is a card of spying or looking for something, and I think in this case, this is you doing research if you have to on a project or on whatever, or with the Page of Swords, this is you looking for a new job. Plain and simple. Alright? <laughs> the Queen of Cups in the middle, that would be you. Three of Pentacles to the left from the Queen of Cups is a card of collaboration, work, business, and finances card. And the Hermit on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but the Hermit is all about thinking, going within, doing some soul searching, right? So perhaps before you started doing the research, this research, uh, before you started looking for this new job, you, you you went through some kind of a thought process. And when you came out on the other side, that's when you realized uh, you need to either do that research or look for a new job. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Scorpio, this week. We got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Three of Pentacles, and the Magician on the bottom of the deck. So what's going on here? You got three people, at least three people, maybe even more. Um, what you're not expecting is some kind of a collaboration between you and all those people. I don't know who's going to be with the initiative here. Well, the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is um, a card of an idea or an inspiration. The Ace of Wands is all about somebody getting all excited, and it's also a card of a new beginning. But anybody could be the one who is initiating it, right? The Magician on the bottom of the deck is a card of taking action. And uh, the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. So all of you are going to get together and uh, do something. <laughs> Collaborate in some shape or form. It could be one of you having a bright idea, having a bright business idea, and uh, you guys are starting a company, you know, a startup or what have you. Or it could be people you already work with. You're all getting together and doing something. I don't know. But this looks good. This looks good, you know. All right, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.